Is that like one of those like shoulder muscles I've been hearing about? Is that a is that a bicep? Is it a I think it's a bicep. <laughs> What's up guys? Got some exciting stuff in the video for today for you. And uh yeah, just some good stuff. Uh me and Chris Jones and Big J. The OGs, we got a workout in, and uh, we're teaching, or they were teaching me, but all together in this video, we're teaching everyone how to lift weights, because we getting it, guys. I love you, and uh, let's just get straight into this video. Let's not waste time. Let's go. Yeah. I'm feeling it, man. I'm hyped. I think you need to get a few more plates in. I should have called in advance. I should have called them before I came. Told them to get about 20 more plates. But the beast mode dogs in here. We got enough weight. <laughs> we got enough weight. You wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world right now. So without Hip hop in its most purest, most rawest form, flow almost flawless, most hardest, most honest, known artist. Chip off the old block, but old Doc is looks like Batman brought his own Robin. Oh God, Saddam's got his own Laden with his own private plane, his own pilot. Set the blow college door, moon doors off the hinges, oranges, peach pears, plums, oranges. Yeah, here I come, my minches away from you, yeah, fear none. Hip hop is in a state of 911. I was watching his vlog the very first time he came here. I've been doing this for 34 years. Chris came to me four years ago. We started working out. He wanted to train back, his best body part. But he never trained in Tinsville before. The first word Johnny Mouth was, God damn! <laughs> Big J don't give a fuck. <laughs> I thought I'd done all of them. And he said, Give me one more. Then he said, One more. And he said, Ten more. So, uh, yeah, we're about to get busy like that again. After I trained here for the first time, I realized I got to step my game all the way up. Ever since then, I've been pushing it harder, trying to cook more drop sets, trying to cook more force reps. I, you never know when BJ going to hit you with a one more. Sometimes you think it's one more, then it's five more. And you got to be ready, baby. I'm too old. I can't count. And look at, look at what his body looks like now. Transform. Look, look, go, look at, go look at the old video. We got 12, and then look now. Yeah, get more maturity, more development. I got two, four, one for the plug and one for the load. I got two, four, one for the beaches and one for the dough. Think I need two, four. Line bumping, I'm ring, ring, ring. Got money while they ring, ring, ring. Grab jumping, I'm ring, ring, ring. I got two, four, one for the plug and one for the load. I got two, four, one for the beaches and one for the dough. Think I need two, four. Line bumping, I'm ring, ring.
Appreciate this, guys. You really keep me nice and cool, hydrated on this hot summer day, guys. Really appreciate you out there. We just finished up the workout. Man, crazy, crazy workout. We were on Periscope a minute ago, and I was talking to everybody about how I've been in, you know, just traveling, just really all over the world the past two, three months, and I haven't been training consistently. I haven't been getting in the workouts that I feel like I should be getting in, and like today, intensity build was intensity build. It was hard. It was good, good, good workout. Uh, crazy, crazy workout, really good stuff. But Big J said something that like kind of hit home with me, and I was like, dang, he was talking about Chris. I was saying how Chris is like basically one of the top YouTubers, and be, because like just the overall package, hard work, worth it, work ethic, um, personality, not losing himself to the game, all that type of stuff. And um, a lot of people don't value YouTube as something serious. And what Big J was saying was like, it doesn't matter what your grind is, you got to put in 110% every single day, every single time, whatever your grind is, because if you're not doing that, you're gonna lose it. And somebody's gonna take it, and you're gonna be tomorrow's news. What did he say, he's gonna be in tomorrow's yeah. newspaper? Oh, I was just saying, yes. yeah, so. Yesterday's newspaper. Yes, oh, yesterday's yeah. newspaper, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you wanna be in tomorrow's newspaper, yeah, right. was the point. And so, um, yeah, that's just like, it's that, that wisdom, you gotta grind, that baby. wisdom. You gotta grind, yeah. man. Even when it's not paying off, man, you just gotta, cause you never know when you when that when the time comes where your hard work's gonna pay off, mm -hmm. so you just gotta grind and just know one day all that work's gonna pay off. Yep. Cause one day your time is gonna come, and if you slack, you ain't ready. Uh huh. Like for example, right? Like I'm lean right now. Yeah. Let's say hypothetically speaking, probably won't happen. But hypothetically speaking, Steve Harvey called me and said, "Hey, I want you to come on my show and show us some ad workouts, right?" Yeah. And let's say I was bulking right now. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even been ready, but now I'm ready. That's how you're working the guy, but you stay grinding, stay working hard, and maybe one day your lucky break will come and you're ready because you've been working forth every day. So stay on it, baby. That's how it goes. Yeah. Words from the wise. Just got off the phone with my grandparents, and I'm probably gonna have to let my grandma tell you this story later. I'm probably I'm gonna get her to tell you guys this story later. Uh and like I don't know, some video down the line. But she was just telling me the story about how when uh, me and my little cousin Adrian, we were about like nine or 10, we were around the same age. So we were both like around nine or 10 years old and we used to horse play a lot. And this one summer when we went to go spin with my grandparents, me and him were like, we used to horse play a lot and we used to wrestle a lot and stuff like that. And uh, she kept telling us, go take a shower, go take a bath, go take a shower, go take a bath. And we're like, we weren't doing it. We just kept playing, kept playing, kept playing. And she finally came in the room. And it's so funny cause like, that's why I want her to tell the story. Cause she gets like so tickled. Like she thinks it's so funny. Um, she came in the room and she was like, 
y'all need to go take a bath or I'm going to bathe you myself. And she said that we both like kind of like looked at each other like, uh, and then we looked at her grandma and like saw that she was serious. And then we just like started running to the bathroom, like racing each other, like trying to grab our clothes and stuff because we didn't want my grandma to give us a bath. And I just thought that was really funny, funny story. But the reason why I wanted to tell y'all that story, because it just kind of ties into what we were talking about with Chris Jones in the car and what we were talking about, uh, what Big J was saying. And that, that thing was that if you don't handle your business, if you don't give everything 110%, that you're going to lose it. And ultimately someone else is going to do it. Someone else is going to take your place. So handle your business before someone else handles your business for you if you know what I mean so that's gonna conclude this video guys I really appreciate you for watching uh, if you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching a video on my channel hit that subscribe button because we getting it over here and you need to get it with us because we growing something great and it's gonna be phenomenal and we're gonna keep rising and keep grinding and keep getting it every single day because that's what we do I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up let other people know what's up so they can see it and we out here I love you guys so much. Thank you. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Let's get it.